Well, unfortunately, we're back to square one, but the molding process with the side skirt, it's actually not holding on. So as you can see, we had to restart it. All this stuff had to be um, redone. I was fiberglassing it from the inside to make it nice and strong. And as I was doing it, it just broke into two pieces. Uh, so the molding wasn't holding up really well. And now I have to redo the top molding again to reinforce the inside. The other side, the passenger side came out really good. This side on the other hand, reinforcing it again, fresh fiberglass once this hardens, then we can do it from the inside. Um, I'm already molding the other one. So I'm gonna show you. So this one, as you can see, we already put the fiberglass bondo on top. It's hardening really nicely, but it's definitely too cold to mold. So I think I'm gonna finish this side skirt, let that one harden. Um, pick a nice warm day where I can actually do the inside for it and leave it until spring I guess or I don't know maybe just do it inside here because I did that on the because I was doing it on the outside and it was hardening but it's taking too long if it's proper weather it's going to harden much faster and better but since we're already in fall and the weather's pretty cold Molding kind of sucks, so I'm gonna wait for this to dry. I'm gonna wait for that to dry, sand it down. Kind of sucks, because this thing is looking so good. Dang, really wish I could finish. Well, I didn't really want to end the day like that because I was kind of bummed that it broke on me. So we came home, reinforced the hell out of it now. Super thick. This thing is going nowhere. Um, it's still fresh, so gonna give it about half an hour to an hour to dry once it dries I can finally take off the front that we just did that I showed you um, in the beginning of the video because this side is done as you can see it looks good now it's not fully done but it's molded uh, now I just have to patch it up with uh, bondo on top a little bit more because it has fiberglass bondo on it now just like this car but we want it to look exactly like that, like nice and smooth, seamless, like it's never been cut. So we have to sand this down, sand this down a little bit more, add more Bondo to uh, get rid of these little dimples. Add Bondo right here, sand it down, make it smooth.
Here's the first layer of the fiberglass bondo. Very happy with it. It's looking really good, nice and smooth. This is the first layer though, so we're gonna probably do another two to three layers on top of this one, uh, just to make it as strong as the yellow car. So for this, I was gonna put fiberglass underneath to reinforce it. Probably would have been better. Since we're doing the fiberglass bondo first, we're doing that on top. Then all these bags I have here will be removed, sand it down on the inside a little bit more. Then we're gonna fiberglass it from the inside to make it nice and strong in one piece. Um, but overall, that's the inside. Also needs a couple more layers. But uh, yeah, it's definitely gonna be sick. I am super excited. The new springs are on and this is how it should sit. Technically, I want to raise it just a little bit because these are 40K, so they have a bit of compression. Um, not really happy about that because I want to get it stiffer, but they don't make four inch um, anything higher than 40K for the ones that I needed. So it is what it is. Um, this side is higher because we are on an incline. But once this is molded today, maybe I try to get the bumper done as well. Um, once I do that, we can finish up the front fenders and that's it, the car is done. We can prep it for paint. So super excited, we're very close to finishing it. Uh, the bumper looks great, happy with the mold. Probably gonna do that right now uh, while this dries, but. So the wagon just looks amazing now. Just look at the rear. It's molded. I'm washing it from all the dust. Uh, still not done. As I mentioned, we still need another layer or two. Um, probably gonna do at least two layers. It's gonna eliminate all these little dimples, but the form is there. It does look weird right here. Like it's, it's a big indent and darker. It has to be patched up in a way that's gonna just blend in with this. Like it, it's still gonna be a little curve, but it's not gonna be as dark like that. It's definitely gonna be matching a more of the fender so these parts on both sides need more fiberglass this was just uh the mold to make it really nice and strong and it really is like this thing was moving before and now nothing is moving like it's all one piece it's all nice and hard really happy about that once we actually have everything done it's going to be awesome when we do the 3d printing to make these body kits for you guys uh because everything will be uh formed already and you won't have to trim anything or cut anything but um we'll see once i'm done this how i like it uh if i'm not really too happy about it because this stuff is so strong that i might just add some tape here and blend into the door remove the tape sand it down so we have it nice and even with the door um but i don't know how it's going to look just because it starts here and here so just basically a couple inches in the door i'm not sure how it's going to look but uh We'll see, we might mess around with that. But super happy to say that the rear flares are permanently on, they're not coming off. The side skirts are permanently on. Well, not permanently, we can remove them, but they're molded. Now I just got the rear bumper off. I reinforced it already, put a couple layers in. Once this dries, I'm actually gonna put the fiberglass bondo on the inside as well, because as we did on the outside right there, and I patched up the holes where the doors open, this stuff is so strong, it's trying to recreate like in case um, I bought them out and destroy the fender. So this stuff is amazing. I'm definitely gonna buy more of this, but for now I'm gonna use whatever I have left, which is these two cans, fiberglass, all of the inside here, make it super strong. So then when we flip this over and sand off all the excess gunk that I had, it's gonna be perfect. So I can't wait, we're gonna do that real quick. So here you guys have it. The mold is off, as you can see. Now it's super smooth, one piece. Um, now this side is just gonna get uh, sanded down lightly and we're gonna put the fiberglass bondo on top. Um, but adding the fiberglass on the inside definitely made it nice and strong. Brought this gap up, but now I have an issue of this not sitting too uh, flush because we added too much bondo here, so we have to sand it down just a tiny bit. So I'm about to do that right now, actually. Your bumper back on, and as you can see, we already shaved off the molding. 
uh, we still have a little bit on top as I mentioned we have to sand it down a little bit more and add the fiberglass bondo and before raising that it was nice and straight but now as you can see it's a little higher here and this is lower that's a good thing because once we actually put the fiberglass bondo on top we're going to be able to actually make this nice and straight and even so it's better to have it a little bit off than having it completely off so I don't have to cut anything off but once we apply uh, bondo here sand it down everything's going to be straight and as you can see it's just the perfect mold everything is nice and smooth here um, it was still what? well not that part you know <laughs> oh, ass brought that thing like this part is smooth but not the top obviously like I said we have to fiberglass it still but putting the bumper back on was a little bit difficult and I'm pretty sure it's because the plastic pieces here on the inside are too tight so we're gonna take it off later sand it down but in the meantime I'm gonna have it on like this so with the Sun a couple days just heat soaking it's gonna form better uh, fiberglass with heat does flex and form a little bit better damn just look at it it looks so good it's legit almost perfect we still have a little bit more work to do in the rear basically those are molded this is now molded reinforced from the inside side skirts are molded and reinforced so the only thing left to do is the front fenders once we finish that with the reinforcement we can fully sand everything down and get it ready for paint but that would do it for this video guys hope you enjoyed it i know i haven't posted in about two weeks now but it's been raining for like the past week and now that i had two days to work on this thing i molded the fenders molded the rear bumper adjusted the 40k springs now so the rear looks perfect but now i just have to lower the front a little bit because as you can see the rear is just looking mint the front is a little high so once we lower it actually we might actually need to raise the rear because it is flexing just a tiny bit so we might actually just raise it a tiny bit and have it even with the front and we're good to go but i hope you guys enjoy this little video and i'll see you in the next one peace out